Ricey, it's the last game at home and the penultimate game of the group stages. How are you feeling coming into it? Yeah, I mean, any time it's in your own hands to get through to a quarterfinals, obviously, um, is, is just where you want to be. Um, ideally, we'd have, we'd have qualified already or been closer to, but, um, you know, that's just the way it is. We've had some real tight games. Another tight game, obviously, we had at Surrey. But um, going into this game, um, you know, we're still really confident we can get the job done. You've had a fantastic blast campaign yourself. You're currently sitting in fourth on the PCA MVP rankings. You must be pleased with the form you've been in. Uh, yeah, I am, especially, you know, I hadn't picked a bat up for about seven months leading into the competition um, with furloughing, etc. So, um, no, it is pleasing. You always want to leave from the front. It's something, obviously, I pride myself on over my career to be consistent at this form and, uh, and try and lead from the front. I think it always helps. But, um, you know, we've had other players in great form as well. Obviously, David Visa stands out as well. And other guys, obviously, Delray's been playing really well and Ravi looked like he was ready to, to go big the other night. So, hopefully, we get more performances out before the end of the tournament and get ourselves into these knockout stages. Last time out, you faced a tough Surrey side and narrowly lost out. What are your thoughts on that defeat now that you've had some time to reflect on it? Yeah, I don't think we're far away. I, you know, I think we got about par score. They thought we were actually over par. Um, I think we were roughly around the right sort of score, but uh, we just didn't take a chance. You know, we dropped uh, Jake in the first over or second over. I think no, first over, um, and then Overton when he was on twelve as well. So I think you know, if we'd have caught our catchers, we'd have won. Um, but we just narrowly missed out. I think the whole way through that innings always just felt that all five, ten runs always ahead from where I wanted them to be. Um, and Ave Overton, after he got dropped, obviously finished the game off really well. But um, yeah, it was disappointing. Obviously, I think credit to them. They played really well. They bowled well as well. And um, we always, it was always tough. But um, I feel like we're very close to, to putting in another big performance, especially obviously today being such a big game. So um, we're just ready to go. Excited to be home and hopefully we can finish on a winning note here at Hove. And the games, as you say, are coming thick and fast with just a day's rest in between most of them. How, how have you and the boys coped with that? Yeah, we've been okay. Obviously, we've, we've, you know, throughout the tournament, we knew we were going to have to have different people have um, opportunities throughout. You know, obviously, it's a real shame that Millsy got the injury when he did. He was just starting to fly, I think. You know, after the, the TV game at Hampshire um, and then on the next game after that at Kent, he bowled beautifully. So to have him injured was a real blow. Um, and I think he, he would have made a big difference again at Surrey the other night. But... Um, yeah, we've lost a few players, obviously, you know, with Laurie and Chris Jordan going off to the IPL, um, we have lost some of our key players, but I think we're coping with it well and um, it, it, look, I feel for the bowlers, it, it is hard going day by day um, playing, but you know, it's the same for every county, we're all in the same boat, so um, there's certainly no excuses there. Um, and it gives, as I said, it's given someone else a chance to step up. Yeah, you touched on Tamal Mills, obviously not in the squad today, how disappointing is that for him as well? Obviously coming back and then going back and getting injured again so soon? Yeah, I mean, he'd worked really, really hard. He said he'd felt as good as he's ever felt um, years before. And, you know, it's obviously an issue for him that's been over a number of years now, these injuries that come up. And it's a real shame because, you know, as I said, he was starting to fly. He was bowling really fast um, and he'd really got his confidence up. So for us, you know, that was huge. We're still hopeful of getting him back uh, maybe Sunday or if we can qualify for the quarterfinals probably more realistic so that would be a massive boost for us but yeah it must be frustrating for him I feel for him because it is something that constantly keeps cropping up um, but as I said it gives someone else a chance now to step in. And just going back to the Middlesex game today you're both fighting it out for a quarterfinal spot does that make it even more important to win today's match to keep it in our own hands? Yeah massive I think you know looking at the different all the other tables if we can win today I think you know you're a long way to get in at least that third place in the quarterfinals to, to qualify but yeah we, ideally we don't want to go into that Essex game last game of the season hoping for the results you always want it in your own hands and we do that if we win today so um, I'm, I'm, I know all the boys are up for it and we look forward to it. Thanks Righty. good luck today. Cheers.